is the duty of those who are charged with the direction of the war to overcome at the earliest moment the military, geographical, and political difficulties and begin the process so necessary and desirable of laying the cities and other munition centers of Japan in ashes, for in ashes they must surely lie before peace comes back to the world. The African war is over. Mussolini's African empire and Corporal Hitler's strategy are alike exploding. One continent, at least, has been cleansed and purged forever from fascist or Nazi tyranny. The proud German army has, has by its sudden collapse, its sudden crumpling and breaking up, unexpected uh, to all of us, the proud German army has once again proved the truth of the saying, the Hun is always uh, either at your throat or your feet. By singleness of purpose, by steadfastness of conduct, by tenacity and endurance, such as we have so far displayed, by these, and only by these, can we discharge our duty to the future of the world and to the destiny of man. And here let me say, let no one suggest that we have, we British, <coughs> have not at least as great an interest as the United States in the unflinching and relentless waging of war against Japan. <laughs> and I am here to tell you that we will wage that war side by side with you, in accordance with the best strategic employment of our forces, while there is breath in our bodies and while blood flows in our veins. I do not intend to be responsible for any suggestion that the war is won or that it will soon be over. That it will be won by us, I am sure. How and when cannot be foreseen, still less foretold.